Good afternoon. I'm Jessica with Telware Corporation, and today we'll talk about the Telware hosted Windows client. I'll show you the basic features, how to make a call, active call options, and more. Starting at the top of the program, you'll see the name of your account. Below your name is your current profile status. Pressing the down arrow will allow you to choose a new status. You have five available profile statuses. The status you choose is displayed to other users on the phone system. Available is the default status and means your phone is currently accepting calls. By default, Away and Do Not Disturb will send all calls directly to voicemail. The bottom two profile statuses are customizable. You'll see here I've named mine Lunch and Vacation. To customize any of these statuses, press the arrow next to the status you would like to edit. You will be brought to a new window to customize that status. Custom Profile Name allows you to rename the status. As I mentioned earlier, you can only rename the two bottom statuses. Custom Status Message allows you to write a custom message that will display on the application of your coworkers. I might write something like, in Conference Room 1. Switch Back After will set a timer for the application to automatically switch your status back to Available. The rest of the options are forwarding options. I can customize a profile status to forward internal and external calls. As you can see here, I've forwarded my calls to a coworker while I'm in the status Vacation. Forwarding options include Voicemail, Extension, My Mobile, External Number, System Extension, and Busy. Once you've created your custom status, press OK. Though you'll still need to activate the status using the drop down arrow. Below your profile status is the notification bar. Some icons you'll see include Missed Calls, Voicemail, Phone Mode, and Q Login and Log Out. Let's talk about phone mode briefly. If you are in desktop or CTI mode, the Windows client will be used to control your desktop phone. If you are in soft phone mode, the Windows client will use the sound and microphone on your computer. Below the notification bar is a search bar. You can use this to search your contacts list and your enterprise directory. Now we'll talk about the icons at the bottom of your Windows client. The Presence Information icon will display all the users on the phone system. If your system admins have users categorized into groups, you'll also see them displayed here. To the left of each user, you'll see their profile status. As we saw earlier, green is available and red is do not disturb. Yellow means that user is currently on an active call. If you right-click on a user's name, you are presented with additional options. You can call that extension, call that user's mobile if it's been programmed into the phone system, leave that user a voicemail, intercom, conference, chat, and email. Again, if that email address has been programmed into the phone system. Pressing the arrow next to a user's name will display more information about that user. The next screen we'll look at is our contacts. Here, you'll see the company-wide contacts as well as your personal contacts. Similar to the present screen, you can right-click on a contact to perform actions such as call, email, edit, or delete. Some of these options will only be available on personal contacts, as company-wide contacts are only able to be removed or changed by the system administrator. To add a contact, you would press the menu icon at the top right of your Windows client and then press Add Contact. The next screen is our call history. The icons on the left of each call indicate if the call was an outgoing call, incoming call, or missed call. Again, you can right-click on an entry in your call history to call that person back. The next screen is your voicemail. 
The blue voicemails are unheard messages. Here, you can see your voicemails and listen to them in the order you choose by right-clicking on a voicemail. Play will allow you to download or play the file on your computer. Play on phone will call you, allowing you to answer via cell phone or your desktop phone and play the voicemail through your phone or computer speaker. Call will call the phone number back from the voicemail's caller ID information. You can also mark the voicemail as heard and unheard or delete the voicemail from the phone system. If you also have a desktop phone, deleting this voicemail from the Windows client will delete the voicemail from your desktop phone as well. The chat screen allows you to view your active instant message chats. Here, you can double click on a chat to continue the conversation. I like to point out the chat settings at the bottom of the screen. Pressing the chat settings icon will allow you to change the notification sound and turn on an option to automatically open chat windows on incoming chats. You can start a new chat conversation using the center icon, or you can delete a highlighted conversation by clicking on the trash can icon. Back on the bottom of the Windows client, the next two icons are for conferencing. The Start a Web Meeting Now icon will open a web meeting in your default browser. Be aware, some features do require you to use the internet browser Chrome. I'll show you what a web meeting looks like in a little bit. The second conference icon allows you to schedule a conference for the future. You're presented with numerous options to schedule a conference. You have the option to schedule a video conference or an audio-only conference call, enter the subject, and provide some notes regarding the planned meeting. Please note, any text you write in the subject or note field will be visible to all attendees. Once you've added the subject line and added your participants, you have the option to either start the conference now or schedule the conference for a set time in the future. The web meeting tool comes with a full suite of features such as screen sharing, chat, polling, and more. Let me show you what it looks like. On the right hand side, you have the attendees list and the meeting chat. At the top of the attendees list, the icons here allow you to start a new poll and copy the meeting link. At the top center of the page are your moderator options. You can add people to the web meeting, turn on and off your video, turn on and off your microphone, record the meeting. A link to download the recorded meeting will be emailed to the moderator after the meeting has ended and is available for download for seven days. You can also share your screen, share PDF documents, or use the whiteboard. Once you're done with the web meeting, you can press the red disconnect button. Let's go back to the Windows client. Next, I'll show you the switchboard. This is typically used by receptionists. The switchboard will open a new, resizable window with all of your presence information. Similar to the present screen, you can see a user status and right-click a user to interact with them. Next, we'll go over incoming calls and active call options. When presented with an incoming call, you'll see Answer, Decline, and divert to voicemail. Answer does just that. Decline will stop the ringing on your application. However, the caller still hears the appropriate number of rings before going into your voicemail. Divert to voicemail will send the caller to your voicemail box immediately. When using your application as a smartphone and on an active call, you have the same features and options as a physical desk phone. Hold allows you to place a call in a hold pattern and the caller will hear hold music. You can use the Windows client to have video calls if the other party also supports video calls. Transfer would allow me to send the caller to another person, either internal or external to the phone system. Attended transfer is also known as warm transfer. 
It will allow you to make an announcement prior to completing the transfer. The keypad opens a keypad if you need one while on a call. Conference starts a conference call and allows you to add additional participants to the conference. Mute places your microphone on mute. You can still hear the caller, but they can't hear you. Record call will allow you to record the call. It illuminates blue, letting you know that the call is being recorded. Not all users have access to recordings, so speak with your administrator if you need access to those. And lastly, end call does just that. It ends the call. If you are using the Windows client in CTI mode, some of the options are grayed out as you could use your physical phone for those functions. Those are the basic features of the Telware hosted Windows client. As you use your application, you'll find more advanced features and functions. If you have any questions, call Telware at 1-800-637-3148. Thank you for watching.